For more on this historic launch, let's bring in former NASA astronaut and professor of engineering at Columbia University, Mike Massimino. Mike, good to see you again. All right, Hi, so Chris having here. made multiple missions to the Hubble telescope yourself, mm -hmm. yeah. what does this moment in history mean for you when we talk about the progress that we've made? Yeah, Kara, thanks for having me. Um, it is something we've been looking forward to for a long time. When I became an astronaut back in 1996, you know, 26 <laughs> years ago, uh, we thought that one of us were going to be walking on the moon. One of my classmates or I would get a chance to go to the moon. And that's what we've been hoping for. It never happened uh, for, for me. Uh, and you know, we'll, we'll see when we actually get there, hopefully in the next couple of years, but we're the close now. So I think it's very believable that with that big rocket ship sitting on that launch pad, we are going back to the moon. We would have the, the Apollo guys come and visit us and talk to, talk to us about what it was like and say one of you might be going. But now we, we can really make that statement and know that it's going to be happening. We've got a big rocket ship and a spaceship out there ready to go. So for me, it's uh, very exciting. Well, an Artis, Artemis 1 is, is a test flight ahead of Artemis 3, which we're already talking about. And that, that will have the astronauts actually on board. Mm -hmm. So what data do, do NASA engineers need to find, Mike, during this launch in order to clear the way for Artemis 3 and actually get men and women up there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kerr, the, the thing that stopped them today was the, was the launch vehicle, the big rocket, the space launch system, making sure that's going to be ready to go. Um, we're going to know whether or not that thing works pretty quickly once they lift off, hopefully on Friday, but soon enough, before you know it. Um, but what's going to be following in the rest of the mission after the launch on the way to the moon and in a big orbit around the moon, they hope to keep that Orion spacecraft in space for about six weeks, for, for, for a while, for over 40 days, to collect lots of data primarily on things like radiation. Can they protect the crew from radiation? We are protected by radi from radiation by our atmosphere and a magnetic field when we're on Earth, and that magnetic field also protects us when we're in low Earth orbit. When people are on the space station, when I was at the Hubble Space Telescope, you get further away from the planet. We had a higher radiation exposure, but you get outside of our magnetic field on your way to the moon and around the moon, and you're going to be very much exposed. So they want to collect that data of how they can protect the astronauts, what the vibration of the vehicle is going to be like, and then also test the vehicle, its maneuverability, its ability to enter an orbit around the moon, and then come back at a very high speed and recover that spacecraft uh, in the ocean six weeks later. So although that's a pretty rigorous test that it's going to go through, um, but with that data, that'll build the confidence that they can put people on the next one. So once this takes off, hopefully Friday now that we're, we're learning, what mm -hmm. will we see and understand, Mike, uh, better once, once it launches? What will happen this time that we will, you know, be enlightened by? Well, we'll see a big rocket go. We haven't seen a <laughs> rocket. This is the most powerful once rocket ever built. Once it's up there, okay? Well, understand. So, once it's okay. there, once it's okay. in its flight, All right. flight so path. Once, yeah, so once <laughs> it's, uh, so I think what we'll see, we'll see a big rocket launch, hopefully, and then we'll see this, uh, we'll, we'll be able to follow along with some high-def imaging of, the, of Orion's uh, journey. And this is really just the first step, Kira. This is the Artemis one. But it's a huge step. We've been, again, waiting for a long time. But this is a huge step in going back to the moon, not just for visits like we did last time for a few days, which was an unbelievable accomplishment. But now with all the knowledge we've gained over the years, over the decades, to go back to stay. We've gained so much knowledge about living in space over long periods of time on the International Space Station, but that was in zero gravity. Now we're going to go back to a planetary surface where you have to deal with gravity and rocks and dust and the high radiation that we spoke about. Can we find water? That's going to be the first landing. It's going to be near a crater where they know there is water. Can they extract that water, use it for, for drinking water to keep life sustained, to break it down into oxygen that can be breathed, to make it into propellants that can be used to go to Mars? So it's a way to, to, to set up a base of operations to study the Earth and the Moon, the origins of the solar system, but also explore beyond and eventually get to Mars and further. So this is that very first step in doing that. Got it. And then you build the hotel, and then you have trips, and you go to the moon on vacation. That <laughs> might be part of it. I don't know if I'm going on any vacations there. I would love to, but I guess it's going to be a little expensive. But no, I think it's going to be economic development. It's not just going to be research and, and science and exploration. I think it's also going right. to be a lot of economic benefits and, and probably some tourism, too. I think that's going to be part of it. 
All right, we're following it all. Mike, all thanks. Right. My pleasure, Kira. Thanks for having <laughs> okay. me. Okay. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.